What's up guys, welcome back, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be working on the F80. When I mean working, I mean very, very, very minorly working on it. Um, the digital gauge that was on the side of the car that we got from P3 Gauges, for some reason isn't working anymore. I think it's when we actually reinstalled the dashboard. I forgot to plug that in properly. Um, so uh, yeah, it caused it to basically not work at all. So I wanna get that thing to work, and then we're gonna have a little sit down because we need to talk about the F80 M3. It's this guy right here that for some reason isn't working anymore. I don't know if I broke it or I don't know exactly, but let's go ahead, disconnect this, disconnect a few things down there and figure out why this isn't working. Maybe I cut a wire, it's possible. And yikes guys, I think when I reinstalled the dashboard, you guys can see right here that this cable got pretty much pinched between the airbags. So uh, let's go ahead, hopefully it didn't damage anything, but I'm pretty sure once a ribbon gets damaged, it's damaged, so that sucks. Let's go ahead and disconnect the airbag and hope maybe that cable is still savable. All right guys, so we got it out of the car. This thing looks absolutely stunning, but this is where my mistake was, guys. So yeah, I accidentally, looks like I pinched this wire. Um, I don't know how this works, but it looks like a bunch of wires. Like, that's what it looks like. It doesn't look like a ribbon cable. So I'm hoping, again, I'm just gonna hit or miss. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it right here. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you guys are gonna stress as well, but I'm gonna cut it right here, um, strip it down, see if I can just connect the wires again. Maybe that's a possibility. If that's a possibility, we might be gravy in the Navy, my little babies. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try that and see if that works. If it fails, um, I'm gonna see if P3 gauges will take this back and help me just refix it. I'm sure they know what they're doing, but for me, uh, we're gonna send it. Oh, guys, we got it. So uh, basically, I noticed that some of the wires that were sticking out, I just pulled on them upwards to kind of separate them from the other wires on the second, because you guys can see there's like six layers here. So the first layer, I just pulled the wires up. Check that out, guys. We're in business. So let me go ahead and just put some tape behind it to make sure it doesn't touch the wires behind it, and we should be good. Now, I'm sure there's probably a professional way of doing this, but uh, this works for me. I mean, it's better than sending it back or getting the crippling tool. I think the tool's like, like 80 or 100 bucks on Amazon. It's actually a very expensive tool, and then I have to go buy the head and everything. So I figured this will work for now. My boy Nick, if you guys don't know, Nick Coding, the guy that's been coding my car since day one, is gonna be coming down here to make us a custom harness for the E chassis. So we're working on something um, that's gonna be Pretty, pretty, pretty awesome for the E92 chassis and the E90 chassis that I absolutely love. So he's gonna be down here, he's gonna be bringing all of his tools, all his crippling tools, he's gonna help me with that. But in the meantime, we got it working, so let's go ahead and just tape it up and it'll be good for now. For everyone out there that does electrical work, I bet you guys are making fun of me, but for me, that looks pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and get this baby installed. Yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> I love P3 gauges, I honestly can't live without it. When that thing was off, I was so upset. I don't race or anything like that, but it just looks so good. So while I'll let the car warm up, guys, let me go ahead and get the packages, because we got some stuff to ship out that you guys ordered. Packages check. Let's head down to the post office. Just like that, guys, the packages are shipped out. Now, probably from the title of this video, you guys are probably gonna know what's going on, which I am selling the F80 Atlantis Blue individual and it hurts for me to say, it honestly genuinely hurts for me to say, this has been my dream car for so, 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 not my dream car, but like something I've wanted for so long. I've been watching Dubsist on Instagram with his individual Atlantis blue. He has the blue on black manual and I just thought it was the absolute, like the most beautiful color in the world. It is still, honestly guys, every time I see this car, every time I watch it and I look at the paint, I'm like, wow, I'm so blessed because this car is literally, it, it, like pictures do not do it justice. Seeing it in person lo literally looks like you're looking at an ocean. It is beautiful and there's only 59 of these ever made. This one in particular, my friend ended up wanting to sell it. He actually rebuilt this one himself. He he rebuilt this car and he was selling it on the market in this private friend market and I was like bro oh my god I'm never getting an opportunity for this I'm gonna go ahead and jump on this because this is probably the cheapest individual Atlantis blue F80 M3 and at the same time it comes with the red guts it comes with the manual gearbox it came with everything I've ever wanted and for a price I could actually afford the car currently is sitting at 42,800 miles which is very 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 low mileage this is probably by far the biggest accomplishment I've ever made in my entire life this car is an absolute dream 
dream. It has everything I want from Harman Kardon sound system to the carbon roof, to the manual gearbox, to the red competition seats, red extended leather, heads up display, front heated, rear heated, so many more other options to list guys. We have the P3 gauges again, a lot of actually modifications. The crank hub was done. I, I can list out so many things because everything's like running through my head. I've done so many things to this car because I actually genuinely thought about keeping it because of how much I love this car. There is a quote that I need to mention that will make you guys somewhat understand me on why I'm actually selling this beautiful car. Refuse to leave life just as it is. Truly don't settle for anything less than your wildest dreams. My wildest dreams, I don't know, I'm gonna put a picture of my bio right there. When I started this YouTube channel, when I started doing BMW stuff, BMW is my absolute favorite car brand. But when I started this channel, my dream was to one day own an Audi R8. And I wanna make that goal definitely happen by the end of this year. Now I know it's super early in the year, we're only in February, and if I sell this car, um, we're gonna be hopefully getting to that dream sooner than later. But yes, if you guys go back to that quote, it's to never settle for anything other than your wildest dreams. My wildest dream is to own an R8. My wildest future like dream was to do YouTube and then own like an exotic rental dealership and have a bunch of exotic cars. That was my dream. Now it is a wild dream. I bet you so many other people have the same dreams as me. But for me, what makes sense is to sacrifice the things I like and I somewhat love for the wildest things in life. That's what I want to do. And I love to try to push myself to achieve bigger and bigger thing that being said the e92 f3 is also going to be towards the r8 dream but i kind of want to keep that car i want to wrap that car we did the raw bangs i want to do so many modifications i think i want to enjoy that v8 that i missed for so 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 long we've enjoyed this car we've done everything we've ever wanted to do to this car this car will be in my dreams on my youtube channel something i'm going to look back to for the rest of my life but it's time for something new so for those of you guys who are excited for the v8 content make sure to stay tuned and for those of you guys who have been supporting me since day one trying to help me achieve my dream i really appreciate you guys so much thank you all so much this isn't the end of the video i want to get this car home at this point we just shipped out the packages let's get this thing back home do a full detail of the interior take some pictures and list it up for sale it's going to be super hard i'm thinking i'm thinking around forty-two thousand. i think forty-two thousand um firm is pretty much the price where i'm at i'm probably gonna be listing for forty-five thousand for the general market um forty-two thousand. um just to let you guys know what my price is at if i get 45 that's great but 42 is probably my bottom dollar for this thing just because of how much money i put into it and how much i love it and honestly you can't get a better car for forty two thousand dollars which is an f80 m3 2016 carbon roof manual individual atlantis blue with the red competition interior all right guys this hurts this hurts honestly this is one of those moments that like i've been telling my wife that i might be doing this but every time i say i'm gonna do it or i want to do it she's even saying you're gonna regret it and uh you know the, the dream is i don't think i'm gonna regret anything once we actually get that audi r right i'm manifesting it because it's gonna happen guys stay tuned on this channel and uh, i promise you guys we are getting an audi r8 um i don't know when but it's gonna happen what's going on guys in today's video we're gonna be talking about how life can change in a blink of an eye did you know snow leopards no i'm just kidding <laughs> what's up guys this is the next day and uh we are with the F80 M3. Now again, I slept on it, I woke up this morning, I saw this car in the garage, and I'm like, I'm not selling it. It's really one of those kind of cars that I love this car so, so, so much, and if the right buyer comes, honestly, I might consider selling it, but honestly, at the same time, every time I look at this car, this was one of those cars that's like, hey, when I started YouTube, if I owned a car like this, it'd be the absolute dream. Atlantis blue paint, the red guts, extended red leather, the manual gearbox, carbon roof, this is literally the definition of exactly everything I've wanted in a car, and it's right here. So honestly, guys, um, we might not end up selling this. We'll see what happens. I'm just putting it out there. Um, if there's a buyer, you know, I'll consider it. But um, this is the ideal car to keep, just because of how beautiful it is, in my personal opinion. A lot of you guys also told me you guys love it. You guys love seeing it on Instagram. So again, I literally woke up this morning with a completely different opinion of yesterday when I filmed the, the first half of this video. Um, so anyway, <laughs> let me just go ahead detail this car anyways just so I can get some pictures and plus I love having a clean car so it wouldn't hurt I've actually recently been really enjoying detailing cars Jonathan showed me this little neat thing which is the 409 carpet car cleaner thing you just spray that on the carpet you vacuum it up and you can make lines you can do that in the trunk you can do that literally anywhere that has carpet it looks so 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 good and this guy right here is the guy I've been using for all the windows this thing literally makes all my windows look brand new like from a dealer it looks so 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 good for the most part guys the car is really clean but the interior you guys already no, you get in and out you just get it a little bit dirty probably there's some dust around here you know but for the most part it's pretty clean it looks pretty amazing <laughs> okay all right all right guys let's go ahead first things first wipe down the entire interior
wanted to get it right Trying to find some balance in my life I never really put up a fight And now I'm losing sleep What if I lost touch? What if I'll never get it right? This video is pretty much effectively over. The car looks so, so, so good, guys. I was detailing it and I'm like, I wish I could detail a car like that for myself. Like, like I, people when they sell cars, including myself, we make it look so good before we sell it. And it's like, why don't we do this for ourselves, you know? Like, <laughs> it looks so good. But yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Guys, it's one of those videos that's kind of like, we're testing the waters, we're testing the waters. You can't blame a man for trying. Um, I, I wanted to see uh, what, what offers I get. If I don't get an offer I want, I'm gonna keep it. If I get an offer I want, I'll think about it because honestly, I don't know. I don't know where I'm at right now. But uh, if any of you guys are super interested, like please only DM me if you're like really interested. Um, hit me up on Instagram or you can uh, you'll probably find the post on Facebook or offer up. Hit me up and uh, you know, be please only serious people because I honestly, I'm not I'm not gonna be taking anything lower um, than 42,000 and uh, 45 is what I'm gonna be posting online and 42 is the lowest I'm gonna take. So uh, yeah, 42 bottom dollar. Please do not hit me up otherwise because I'm not going to sell it. <laughs> but anywho, that's going to have to conclude the video guys. Thank you all so much for the support. You guys know we are on the road to getting our dream RA on this channel. We're going to do whatever it takes. So if you guys support that decision, make sure to smash the like button. Without further ado, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.